Good morning. It's Thursday, January the 18th, 2024. We welcome you all to Abundant Life Homestead Ministry, where every weekday, Monday through Friday, we take a little Bible study time out in the morning for some coffee and Jesus and a study that is known as the Connections Bible Study. The Connections Bible Study is based on the Revised Common Lectionary, uh, which is studied by millions of Christians around the world. On Thursdays, we look at a wisdom passage, and today we are in a psalm. Today's passage is Psalm chapter 62, verses 5 through 12. And as we read through the passages, we take notes on anything that... Um, seems important anything that stands out to us and we sit down and discuss them if you do the same taking your own notes and you would like to share them with us please put them in the comments below we'd love to see what others have to say about these passages so this psalm is attributed to david mm -hmm. and i am going to be reading from the Passion Translation. Uh, okay, starting in five. I am standing in absolute stillness, silence before, silent before the one I love, waiting as long as it takes for him to rescue me. Only God is my Savior, and he will not fail me. For he alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me as my champion defender. There's no risk of failure with God, so why would I let worry paralyze me, even when troubles multiply around me? God's glory is all around me. His wraparound presence is all I need. For the Lord is my Savior, my hero, and my life-giving strength. Trust only in God every moment. Tell Him all your troubles and pour out your heart longings to Him. Believe me when I tell you, He will help you. Before God, all the people of the earth, high or low, are like smoke that disappears, like a vapor that quickly vanishes away. Compared to God, they're nothing but vanity, nothing at all. The wealth of the world is nothing to God. So if your wealth increases, don't be boastful or put your trust in your money. And don't you think for a moment that you can get away with stealing by overcharging others, just to get more for yourself. God said to me once and for all, all the strength and power you need flows from me. And again, I heard it clearly said, all the love you need is found in me. And it's true that you repay people for what they do. Well, that was one that's worded very <laughs> different. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, usually it's a lot more comparable, but... It's okay. It's very compounded. Yeah. And I'll read the same from the Amplified. For God alone, my soul waits in silent and quietly submits to him, for my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress and my defense. I will not be shaken or discouraged. On God, my salvation and my glory rest. He is my rock of unyielding strength. My refuge is in God. Trust confidently in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a res refuge for us. Selah. Men of low degree are only a breath or emptiness, and men of high rank are a lie or delusion. In the balances they go up because they have no measurable weight or value. They are together lighter than a breath. Do not trust in oppression and do not vainly hope in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. Also to you, O Lord, belong loving kindness and compassion, for you compensate every man according to the value of his work. Okay. So, what you got? An overarching theme. God is all we need. 
Give him our hopes and dreams, our worries and trials. And I didn't even finish that thought. <laughs> um, but his love and strength and power is greater than any of the good things or bad things that we have here on earth. And there's no need to worry or to waste our time worrying because God is ultimately in control of all things. And start off very similar to that. Um, for God alone, as he starts this passage out, God alone, and as he goes through it, my salvation, my defense, my glory, my strength, my rock, my refuge. And we're tempted to trust many things of the flesh or the world for these, but only God can promise and provide any of them. This goes along with the study we're doing right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the Wednesday nights? Mm-hmm not think of the name of the book <laughs> but yeah maybe God is in control I could be making that up though so um, the treasures of this world mean nothing to God it matters not if we are poor or rich what matters is that we love God and trust in him What does your say in verse 8? Wrap around faith. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I said that a couple times. Wrap around love. Uh, Ver eight. Verse 8. Really, the, the this says, Trust confidently in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. Trust only in God every moment. Tell him all your troubles and pour out your heart longings to him. Believe me when I tell you, he will help you. I like that. Pour out your heart longings to him. Yeah. Um, and e either translation, I think, says it well. But pour out your heart before him. This is um, another one of those times where we see God is personal with us. Mm -hmm. He cares about our joys and sorrows. He is power, but he's not just power. He is a rock, but he's not as hard as in as hard and impermeable as a rock. He still has that softness to him. He wants to have that personal relationship with him. He wants us to have that personal relationship with him to the point that we can pour out our heart to him. And if you go back just one more, um, this is one of those wraparound. God's glory is all around me. His wraparound presence is all I need. For the Lord is my savior, my hero, and my life-giving strength. Um, I like how it uses wraparound. It uses it a few times. It's not, it makes God personal, like you were saying. It's mm -hmm. not, he's just watching from, yeah. but he's there holding on to you, wrapping around you encompassing you it's funny um amplified both both the places where you read wrap around this reads my refuge mm. but um when i think of wrap around i think of where david says god is my defense you know he doesn't say god is my defender not god is standing out there in front of me defending me no god is my defense he is um there's another psalm we read recently. He places a hedge around. Mm -hmm. He hedges himself around me. I think and of it like a security blanket. So he he doesn't just doesn't just fight the battles. He is the walls of defense for us. Mm -hmm. And sometimes our safety is his presence, mm -hmm. knowing that he's there brings us the peace and comfort to continue on in our trials, whatever they may be. Uh, 
the last thing was a repeat once again anytime something is repeated it's basically in bold letters saying read this pay attention flashing lights all the love you need is in me I am all you need God says that over and over mm -hmm. I'm all you need but all the love you need is in me you also have to think that God is love and all love comes from God and here close to the end um, 11 and 12 um, twice I have heard this that power belongs to God also to you, O Lord, belonging loving kindness and compassion. So, you know, he's giving God to the two most worthy attributes you can use to describe God, power and love. And what does it say? Um, 11, well, just starting back at 11, God has spoken once, twi twice I have heard this. That power belongs to God, also to you, O Lord, being loving kindness and compassion. For you compensate every man according to the value of his work. You know, the, the, the two, two most accurate attributes you can give to God is power and love. And he is always both. And I think we, we, we I remember talk, we talked about that a few months ago, but it, he, he's not just one or just the other, and you really can't have just one or just the other and have the fullness of mm. God. It is always power and love. I like the way this one words it, though. Um, God said to me once and for all, all the strength and power you need flows from me. And again, I heard it clearly said, all the love you need is found in me. And it's true that yeah. you repay people for what they do. But um, I like the adjectives. <laughs> Flows. That's not an adjective. Yeah. And in, in, in that, <laughs> you're correct. It's not an adjective. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not. It's not. I'm tired. <laughs> I, I like David's words of God has spoken once and twice. I have learned this. You're, yours had it a completely different way. God said to me, me once, once and, and for, for all. Because this is where, you know, David learned the same lesson twice. He didn't quite learn it the first time. But God spoke to him. And, you know, God always confirms. God speaks again mm -hmm. to him. It took him twice to learn the, learn the same lesson. He, that's, that's he spoke neat, once though, and twice I heard. And, but this one, once and for all it's like you know i'm gonna keep repeating this as long as you need me to but <laughs> maybe get your stuff together so you don't have to <laughs> and then the last thing i have notes wise anyway of course i didn't have those last couple things i brought up in my notes it actually doesn't come from me i found a quote from spurgeon about this psalm that i really like mm -hmm. and really sums up in fewer words and says it better than what I than what I started with on my long note. Man neither helps us nor rewards us. God will do both. Mm -hmm. I like that. Thought it uh, summed it up really well. Yeah. You just add some love in there and be <laughs> Well, that's where they both help like, and yeah. reward. Right. Love is in both of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because God is love. Both power and love can be seen in both help and reward. Mm -hmm. That's why I really like the the way he wrote it and the way he wrote that. Mm -hmm. My friend. <laughs> um any new prayer requests nope not 
today? Common. Hmm. Females. No. <laughs> okay. So, let us pray. Father, we're so thankful for your love and your power and the grace that pours out from you onto us. We ask that you guide us into the path that you would like us to take and to just draw closer to you and have our focus only be you and not on the world. Be with our um, list of people that uh, need your love. Lord, there's so many needs and you know each and every one of them. Touch them all in the unique way that only you can. And be with everyone that's watching and listening and help us all to be your light in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, or prayer requests, leave them in the comment section below. And if there is something you would like to share with us privately that you don't want to be made public, you can send us an email at ministry.alh at gmail.com. And tomorrow is Friday. So tomorrow we find the connection or common theme that goes um, through all of the passages that we've read this week. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? Any last minute thoughts? Nope. nope. Okay. I don't think I have any either. So we thank you all for watching. Thank you for following along in the video and in the study. Um, we know it does great things for us to get into the Word a little bit every day. It'll do great things for you too. And otherwise, we hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. We love you all and we will see you tomorrow morning.